What's going on YouTube? This is Last Emperor, and in this video, I'm showing you a fix for Acronis True Image uh, going completely blank on you while cloning your disks. Um, I'm pretty sure it's just a visual glitch, and the software is still cloning your disks in the background. But regardless, uh, here's how to fix this. Um, so this is how you normally start. This is the WD edition, and that's how you start cloning from the Windows interface. So I select clone disk and you know just automatic for mode for the sake of it. Mine was not too much different because I'm not going to resize anything. So um, here we go it's asking for the source so select source and we're going to select destination drive which is completely blank, blank here. Uh, Copy partitions without changes. Yep. And proceed. So it's calculating and it's gonna ask me to restart my computer, which I will. Because that's where the shit happens. So restarting. I'm just gonna force these to die. Okay. So there we go, Windows is shutting down, um, what this software does is I'm pretty sure it modifies your boot record on your system drive to not load your OS and instead load Acronis, yep there we go, starting Acronis loader, and Acronis loading please wait forever, okay so as you can see uh, screen completely blank. In the background, uh, I'm pretty sure it's still processing your uh, your um, cloning. But what we're gonna do here, because if you click this video, you over, you've already seen this um, nonsense. So we're just gonna restart here. And by tapping F2, at least that's on my motherboard. My motherboard has F2 setup key. So regardless, enter setup for your BIOS or your motherboard and we're gonna look for CPU config I believe uh, or not let me just find it real quick oh yeah there we go so in my um, ASRock motherboard it's North, Northbridge uh, config and IGD multi monitor so um, this is for integrated graphics multi monitor setup sort of Acronis hates this this thing, so we're just gonna disable it and save. Unfortunately, when we boot back to our system drive, uh, Acronis is no longer there, so we have to boot into our OS and you know just restart the whole process. But since we disabled um, multi monitor for integrated graphics, it should work. I'm not even using integrated graphics, but this function somehow ruins Acronis, which is a pretty weird bug, to be honest, so. Let me just start Acronis real quick here. Oh, shit. So Acronis to image. Again, this cloning. Automatic source drive. Here's our source drive. Destination drive. There we go. Completely blank. Copy partitions without changes. Next. Proceed. And it's going to cry again to restart, but this time it should be all just fine. Like I said, I'm pretty sure it's just a visual glitch. If you start, um, if you start the process and you end up with a black black screen, do you just leave your computer there for I don't know, a couple of hours, come back to it? By default, um, when the cloning ends, the system will shut down. But uh, you can change that if you have access to the user interface, which we now will have access to. Okay, force again. Yep.
Okay, so like I said, the only difference that we disabled uh, IGD multi monitor uh, function in BIOS. Alright, it's booting, it's Acronis crap again. Acronis loading, please wait. Yep, uh, we got into the user interface. Okay, so when you have access to this user interface thing, you will have the option to not uh, completely shut down the computer, but to restart instead, which whichever you prefer, it's you know just whatever. So in a couple of moments, uh, the software should start the actual cloning of the partitions. I've been using Acronis for quite some time now. Um, not this release of Acronis, but some some older Acronis, and I've been and I've been using it and have had no problems whatsoever. Um, I'm pretty sure it's you know just the current motherboards have this option, and you know in the past there was no such problem because multi monitor setups were not so popular you know whatever so and I'm go not gonna shut down just restart or actually we can just leave it sitting here okay so that was the fix hope I helped and if you did like this video if you don't you know just whatever uh, consider buying me a beer if this solves your massive headache for you know it's down the description so thanks for watching see you guys next time bye bye